Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Steven. Today we're working on this 1990 F-250 Super Duty, and this is a special truck. It's got a Dodge Cummins 5.9 liter diesel engine in it, and it's out of a 1992 Dodge truck. And we're gonna go ahead and do a motor oil change. We're putting in our 15W40 signature, and we're gonna kick it off right now. So if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. You can tap the icon in the corner or hit the little subscribe button right here. And then you go ahead and tap the notification bell. And that way you'll get new notifications when my new video comes up. Right, but before we do this oil change, we're actually gonna do a flush. And uh, Matt here, he's gonna go ahead and motor up. We're gonna listen to her so you guys can hear her before and after. All right, let's motor her up. Let's do it. Alright guys, Matt's going to go ahead and dump in the flush, and what this is, you're good to dump it in, go ahead. This is a very thin detergent, and basically what it does is it actually breaks down the oil and gets all the sludge out of any oil passages. It also cleans up around the uh, pistons, cleans up uh, valves, all kinds of stickiness, gets the gunk out of there. So it's going to melt this stuff up, we're going to idle it for 15 minutes, and then we drain her done. Here we go. All right, now all we do is let her idle for 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and put in our diesel all-in-one. And what this is, you can dump it in, you're good to dump it. What it is, is it does four different things. It's a cetane boost, which gives you more power. It also is a lubricant, so it lubricates your injectors, so there's less friction and scratching on them. So your injectors will last exponentially longer, about two to four times longer. And then also, it's got a cleaning effect. So it cleans the combustion chambers, gets the deposits out, cleans uh, the valves, intake, uh, all that stuff. And then you have your last thing is the anti-gel. So basically, when it gets cold, there's waxy crystals that are actually in diesel, and it actually gets thicker, and it's hard for it to go through the uh, diesel filter, and it can actually strain the pump, it can actually uh, break the pump, and it can overheat it. So basically, by adding this, you don't have to worry ever, down to about negative 40 degrees below zero, you don't have to worry about having any wax in your diesel uh, fuel. So it keeps you protected all year round, better gas mileage, the whole shaboo. All right, Matt's gonna go ahead and crack her loose. We just got done idling her for about 15 minutes. Yeah. So all that sediment is all uh, done. And there she is. Yeah, well, something tight. Mm. Oh my goodness. You need some rubbers? No, uh, too late now. You sure? Yeah. All right. He's in it to win it. Yeah, it's a there she is. Wow, it is going fast. Look at that come out fast, how it delaminated that oil. Wow, this is a gusher. Yeah, beautiful. Wow. Awesome. There's my new starter. <laughs> All right, you just got a new starter put on. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. That's it. All right, we'll be back. I wanted to show you the triangle this thing's making, the, the square. I've never seen oil come out in a perfect square like that. Look at that stream. That's impressive. That's interesting. All right, we'll let her drain down. To show you guys the custom exhaust on this thing, Matt used driveline to make the exhaust. So there's a drive shaft, and there's the actual exhaust going all the way up and all the way up. <coughs> and there she is. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to do our oil filter, but I want to show you what the AMS oil filter is. It's good for one year, 25,000 miles, and I'll show you the back of it. The back of it shows the filtration percentage compared to the other OEM filters. And basically what the difference is, is it has a proprietary anti-drain back valve, so you can take it out, Matt, and, show, and we'll show them this. We'll go ahead and poke her in, and 
I'll show you the, the valve actually is a is silicone valve and it's upgraded and it doesn't allow the oil to actually drain back out. So on your next cold start, your, your flow is instantaneous and that uh, about 80% of the wear roughly is on your cold start. So this will really help your engine and uh, also the medium is proprietary. So this synthetic medium holds four times more contaminants than cellulose paper oil filters. So that's a little bit about the filter. Now I'm gonna show you guys where the filter's at. I'll show you right now. So we're on the side, we're on the front side of the truck just like a Dodge. And it's right here in the wheel well, right there. There she is. So we're gonna go ahead and thread her off now. I'm gonna use this belt wrench and that's what's gonna go ahead and take her off. Let's do it. All right guys, so we're just coming out of battle. Matt, we almost lost him, but he's still in one piece. He had to use the Gorilla Claws, the Battle War Axe. It's like taking down a, a uh, 46 tall, foot tall elephant. You need elephant power, and that's what this truck is, is elephant power. Oh my lord. And there she is, she's coming. We're gonna give birth to an oil filter. Given, given birth to a deformed oil filter. Get you lots of towels here for you. Drop, drop the baby. See, it's coming from up top. That's she's. That's about where she's from. Oh. Got her. It's coming. Need oh. rubbers. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready for some rubbers. All right, let me get you some rubbers. All right, guys. So even though we're in the midst of battle, Matt's putting on his rubbers here, so it's never too late to use protection. So you can see, and he knows how to use them. Perfect. Awesome. There we go. He's got his rubbers on, and now he's going to complete the task with passion, determination, and everything else it takes to succeed and win in life and in war. gave me a scare. I thought you were coming out with it. I was. Giving birth to an oil filter. Oh my goodness. Throttle it. And there she is. Oh, they're going to love me. There she is. So after about 18, 20 minutes of battle, two, three men in action, using elephant claws to penetrate the skins of an elephant, we finally got out the oil filter. And you don't have to do all these engine flushes, and you don't have to change the oil as often. And uh, you also get better gas mileage because the thinner the oil is, it circulates with less parasitic drag. So by actually using a bypass filter, you'll actually get better gas mileage. So all right, we're good to go. So Matt actually brought up a great point. Not only does the, the bypass filter also last longer between oil changes, but you also have much cooler uh, coolant temperatures. So wh what was the difference roughly? You said before and, and after? There's a noticeable difference. So yeah, so basically the oil, like an older uh, oil-cooled Porsche engine, they held about 10 to 12 quarts. The oil actually cooled the engine. So by running this bypass filter setup, it's actually cooling the engine like having a bigger radiator. So it's, it's really totally worth it when you look at it when you're doing 30 to 50,000 highway miles like Matt does every year. All right, we got the oil filter off. And there she is. She's all out. There's the bypass setup. And now all we do is thread on our fresh one. We're good. Go ahead and throw on our fresh uh, full flow filter. And we're gonna go ahead and fill her up about a quarter of the way because you actually have to put the filter in sideways. So you're good to fill her up, go ahead. Keep going, keep going. And now get some oil here in the side. Perfect, that's good, that's good. And I'll wet it, I got it, I got it. And now, the moment of truth, this is a big filter, so we're gonna use two finger. And we come on in just like so. Go ahead and wet her up. Make sure you get your threads. And if you're gonna stroke your threads, make sure you use rubbers, you can cut yourself, be careful. 
And then, once you got it nice and wet, now you want to get your rubbers. And it's very important to get your rubber gasket so it threads on nice and easy. And we only filled it up about a quarter of the way uh, because it actually has to go in sideways. And now I'm going to spin it a little bit and that's going to actually uh, allow it to saturate the medium a little bit so it won't come out easy. And that's pretty much it. Now it's time to go ahead and thread her on. It's time to put in our liquid gold. We're putting in AMS Oil Signature Series. This outperforms Mobile One Extended Performance by four times in the industry standard turbocharger deposit test. So it basically breaks down at one fourth of the rate. Also, it burns off at less than half the rate of Mobile One. And this is the cylinder scuff test. Basically that shows the Detroit standard. It beats it by six times on the cylinder scuffing. So your uh, sleeves will last longer, you'll keep your compression longer, and you're good for up to one year, 25,000 miles on one oil change. Do it. Get it rolling. Rock and rolling. Do it. Liquid gold's going in. Getting air pockets, that's what's getting it. Air pockets. The quartz are better for crazy tall pores. There we go. So we got her started up with AMS oil. Uh, it had AMS oil in it before, but we didn't do the flush. So let's see what she sounds like. Here's the after. All right, Matt's going to give her a rev. Go ahead. Wow. All right, that's diesel power. <laughs> Right, so this is the first time in a, uh, a diesel manual pickup truck. I've never been in one. It really has a lot of power, tons of power. So now we're hitting Boulder Highway and just driving her a little bit. Sounds good. Beautiful. Smooth as silk. All right. We'll see you guys. Guys, we're all wrapped up on this beauty. It's all good to go. It took 13 quarts in the motor, and it, it's about two and a half quarts in the bypass filter system. And I'm gonna put a little link to my bypass filter video right here in the corner. If you have any questions, Amsoil makes the bypass filter for every truck. And uh, it really helps with the ass mileage, last longer, and uh, just really awesome. So that's pretty much it. You got, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. You can tap the little icon. And we will see you guys back next time on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers. Thank Thanks, you. Matt. Thanks. Good to go.